Okay, so in this video today, we're going to talk about how Global Positioning System, which uh, is GPS for short, works. Okay, so basically, uh, the GPS system consists consists of twenty four satellites. Uh, to, for it to work, but there are twenty nine satellites orbiting around the Earth at, at uh, any given time because uh, we need satellites to replace the old ones and broken ones. So the 24 satellites are arranged in such order that at any time, anywhere on Earth, there are four satellites and a GPS receiver can use to tell its latitude and longitude. But how exactly does it do that? After, well, obviously, after it gets the longitude and latitude, it will graph it on a map. But how does it get the long longitude and latitude? Uh, is what I will show you today. So, uh, this is the Earth. This is Earth. Um, I'll just do a two D example because it's easier to understand. It basically works the same in three D. You don't need to. Uh, you don't. Anyway, it works. Yeah, similar in three D. So, anyways, this will be the first satellite, and this satellite will send a uh, radio wave to you. It's send radio wave. Do, 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 do. Let's just say you are here, okay? I'll mark it with Y. You are here, okay? Now, the satellite sends a radio, a uh, radio wave, high frequency radio wave, uh, between um, 1.2 to uh, to 1.6 gigahertz. And um, it you send after you receive it, you send it back to the satellite. And after it gets it, it get it. Uh, well, obviously it will calculate the time, and it knows the speed of light, which is uh, approximately three hundred million meters per second. But obviously it it won't use the approximate. It will use the exact speed of light times by the time that it has taken the obviously it needs to divide the time by two because you're returning and it just needs to calculate a single distance so to divide it by it will divide the time by two after that times it by the speed of light to give you the distance uh, from it to you but there is a problem if you're doing it only with one satellite and the problem is that the radius of a circle is constant, so basically, uh, this point is touching you, okay? But the thing is, the radius of the circle stays constant, and it just it has no way of knowing if you are here or here or here. Uh, wait, I'll, I'll label it. It has no way of knowing if you're here or here or here or here. You know, okay? So basically, what it needs to do is that um. For in order for it to work, three GPS, uh, three satellites is needed. I mean, okay, so uh, one satellite could be here, and it. Um, I'll show you why three. Okay, and it'll get your distance. So it could be anywhere along this line, crosses your, and but it goes back, crosses that one, and it just keeps going in a circle. Okay, now, um where they overlap, the two places they overlap is where you possibly can be. But the thing is, obviously they don't know. It, it could be either here or here. At least we, we have uh, two possible points now. Now we just need a third one that could be anywhere. It could be even here. And it will have, I'll draw in light blue, okay, and it will, calc uh, it will uh, give you a distance here and they're overlapping I mean on my drawings bad I'm sorry about that but uh, where the overlap the point the exact point where they overlap um, are is your place uh, and GPS systems has the ability to calculate uh, accuracy up to uh, one meter depending on the equipment you're using okay so and because it's always a fixed distance from here to here so it'll be along this line and for this one it's a fixed distance from here to here and so it'll be along this the yellow line and for the red one 
it's always a fixed distance from here to here and it just keeps going here or down so wherever there they overlap is the um well the where you are okay so i'm going to rub all this off now and also uh a gps needs very accurate timing because uh it, because a speed of light is very fast and you need to have the accuracy up to nanoseconds and in the satellites they use something called atomic clocks and there is a video below there's a link to a video below uh, if you want to know more about what's atomic clocks and how they work and if you have any questions uh, just feel free to comment below and ask me and um, if you like the video just press like and you can subscribe to my channel for more tutorials related to math and science okay so now that concludes the video i hope you enjoyed it and just leave any feedback if you don't, if you didn't enjoy it that's cool just leave any feedback tell me where is it wrong it's actually my first time doing a tutorial uh, like this one where i draw and stuff it's pretty clumsy using the mouse and anyway so anyway that ends the video